Hey guys, welcome once again to Wood Recognition Wednesday with Wonky Workshop. Uh, the winner of the cherry competition will be on the screen now. Thank you very much for taking part and uh, I'll get the blanks off to you as soon as possible. This week we're going to consider elm for you, so let's take a look at a few of the things now that will help you identify it. So elm then, this is our usual slice through, a bit larger than normal. This is the front face, we can see that we've got quite a sort of, it's a quite a lightish brown to it with shades of red and also hints of green in there as well for your heartwood. If we flip it over you can see this nice streak of white help the, on the outside for the sapwood. You can also see much richer elements of green coming through. Side grain, we've got uh, quite regular straight grained material. Elm is pretty straight grained overall. There are a few occasions where you get some interlocking grain and that can give some nice figure. If we look at the end grain there you can clearly see the sapwood on this section and quite how tight the growth rings are overall. Sometimes elm, as with other woods, can contract disease, fungus, various things and uh, sometimes, particularly with things like beech or hornbeam or some of the others, this can actually be quite attractive. I've got a very small bit of what they call spalting at the top here and if I flip the blank over you can see we've actually got quite a lot running throughout all of this piece. Now whilst this is attractive and can produce some very nice artistic pieces you can probably also see here I've got a few splits that have crept in um, and this is because of the differentiation between the naturally hard wood and the softening effect that the fungus has had which has caused some of the cells to shrink back from one another create these splits. I've been filling with these with super glue over time. So when we turn this for instance quite often the weight is out of balance because you've got the denser wood and the softer wood. This can also be not just a little bit soft but what they call punky wood. So you could sometimes, not in this case, but be able to really press your finger into it and leave a dent which can cause uh, quite a lot of problems when working with it. So although attractive it does also have its negative side Well thank you for watching the video, I hope it's helped you identify elm. If you've got a particular timber you'd like me to try and assist you with identifying, please drop me a message on Instagram, send me some images of it, or you can write a comment in the section below and I will try and find a piece of it for you and try and help you identify it. Uh, please stick around for the rules of the competition for a chance to win some of the elm featured in today's video, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you again soon.